Converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. In this case, 5 as the whole part and a half as the fraction part. Okay, multiplying the denominator and the whole number at the result to the numerator. Multiplying 2 times 5 equals 10 plus 1 is 11. Put the 11 in the numerator to remain as the denominator. So 5 and a half equals 11 over 2. So you multiply, then add and keep the same denominator. If a mixed number is negative, keep the negative sign, then do the same procedure. That is going to be multiply the denominator and the whole number and add the result to the numerator. Multiplying 7 times 3 equals 21 plus 4 equals 25 and the denominator remains 7. This improper fraction is the same as this mixed number and we can prove this just doing the division. So how many times does 7 go into 25 is going to be 3 with 4 remaining and this is the answer. We're done with this mixed number. To convert an improper fraction to mixed number we just need to divide the numbers. In this case 7 by 5. Okay, so how many times does 5 go into 7? Doing the division is going to be 1. Later we have to subtract them up the numbers. We get 2. Okay, so it's going to be equals to one whole number and 2 over 5. So 7 fifths is the same as one whole number and 2 fifths. Dividing an improper fraction becomes a mixed number. When we have a negative improper fraction, we have to keep the sign. So first write the negative sign, then do the same procedure. That is going to be divide the numbers. So how many times can 3 go into 16? The closest answer is 5. Multiply the numbers. Later we subtract them up, we get 1. Okay, so converting this improper fraction, we get 5 whole number and 1 third, which is the mixed number equivalent to this improper fraction.